Good morning friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 17th, 2024. Well, yesterday we had another surge back to the upside and then a bit of a reversal with all four indexes closing slightly lower, leaving shooting star patterns behind. Um, in the process. But before we get into that, how about we take a look at what happened overnight? First off, we had um, Asian markets uh, mixed, mostly lower, after uh, Chinese um, data showed some um, interesting declines in spending. Um, but that being said, Shanghai was higher on the day, and so was Hong Kong. Everything else was a bit on the lower side, um, more worried than uh, those two countries. If we take a look at European markets this morning, European markets are seeing red across the board this morning, um, maybe looking for a little bit of pullback here after such a, a strong run to the upside. And then if we take a look at U.S. futures, well, U.S. futures are mixed at the moment. Um, they have been down most of the night, but you know what normally happens here every day. Um, we pump it up into the pre-market, um, and they're trying to pump it right now. Now I don't know if it's going to stay up there today. Um, we are very, very stretched out. After crossing through 40,000 in the Dow, we'll want to be watching that closely. But right now we have the Dow futures and the S&P 500 futures just a little bit lower and the NASDAQ up. If we take a look at oil this morning, oil is making a little bit of a rebound, just slightly higher here this morning. Up 19 cents at 79.42 a barrel, with Brent being up 21 cents at 83.48 a barrel, and natural gas just slightly up um, about one and a half cents. Our um, precious metals are uh, seeing a little bit of a rebound here as well. Right at the moment, we have gold futures up $5.10. Silver is up this morning. Um, Copper is up this morning, and we have platinum and palladium just a little bit lower. And then if we take a look at those cryptos, well, we've got Bitcoin back up today. Um, yesterday, it had a little bit of a rough day. Uh, this morning, we've got crypto surging back up, up uh, 1,100 points here so far this morning. So what does all that mean for today? Oh wait, we forgot the bonds. Well, one of the reasons we're having a little bit of struggle here this morning is we're seeing those two-year bonds continuing to creep higher. They're at 4.79 percent um, here this morning with the 10-year bonds continuing to stay weak. So the 210 inversion is getting wider here interesting situation. Um, the 10-year being at 4.39% and the 30-year at 4.53%. So how about we take all that information, let's um, put it in the back of our head, and let's um, get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain a little information about how we might want to approach the market for today. If um, you notice here, we left behind a little bit of a shooting star pattern here on the day. Um, we we want to look at those patterns as important, but remember, we want to shake off our bias when we take a look at these charts and see, you know, no matter what we feel should occur, let's take a look at what could occur and how we might um, treat that market if um, the unexpected were to happen. So first off, we are showing just this little bit of bearishness, but if the bulls were to come in with some kind of inspiration today to push back to the upside, well, as you can see, we would need a test of this high to uh, see if we can break through uh, that 40,000 level again. And then of course, there's blue sky above. So nothing up there to really stop those bulls from pushing through if we can find the inspiration. 
Now, if the bears, if the bears can find inspiration, well, you can see we're trying it out here this morning. We're pushing back right back down into this uh, breakout area here of the Dow, um, of the diamonds, and we'll want to be watching that closely. If that holds a support, then we're in great shape. If we continue to slip, then I think we're going to probably come down into here, maybe testing that level here in the chart beyond that point. I think we're going to stretch a little bit lower and maybe come down into here to test this area of the chart if that would take a pretty good push to the downside it's certainly possible but if we go beyond there and we break this trend then i think we have that chance that we could be moving back down here toward that 50-day moving average we'll have to wait and see i just don't see a whole lot of energy in the bears though however they, they just don't seem to have any willingness to do much of anything at all so um, i don't think we have a major fear here unless we stumble in some way here in the market let's take a look at our spy spy also showing us that shooting star pattern giving us that uh, maybe that um, overbought um, concern here in the market after so many days up that we may pull back so watching this closely if the bulls were to find inspiration well, of course right there's that uh, top that we need to try and break out there's blue sky above that no resistance above so if the bears were to find that inspiration well breaking yesterday's low would be the first thing and you can see we're trying to do that this morning then i think that pushback could potentially bring us back down into this breakout point to see if we can hold it as support and i think if we do hold it as support you know hang on we're probably going higher if the bears push on down through there, well, you can see these levels. We'd be coming down to test some of these support areas in, here in the chart and that upside trend. Now, remember breaking down below that upside trend, we would start getting a little bit of pressure in the market and maybe even a little fear picking up and that could potentially send us back down here to the 50-day uh, moving average. Now, remember there is after such a strong run to the upside, there's also that possibility of a substantial sideways move. You know, for example, we get a big strong run to the upside. We can spend considerable time resting that um, big move to the upside. So we have to remember we can go up, down, or sideways here in our markets. And so if we get caught in a little bit of a choppy pattern up here and hold these support levels, I think that would actually be healthy and bullish for the market. Let's take a look at our QQQ. Very similar here in the QQQ, a uh, little shooting star top. If the bulls can push on through there, then we've got blue skies above. If the bears were to find some inspiration here, first off break the low of yesterday's candle and then probably back down here to test the support of this breakout if we fail there you'll notice that we do have a, a gap here that could get filled so if the bears were to really push we could uh, fall through there fall into that gap and right here into this um, upside trend beyond that point you'll notice we've got a little bit of price support right in here that could catch us and then of course once again we be, could be looking at the 50-day moving average if we take a look at our russell iwm iwm has been struggling with this resistance level and this is a multi-year resistance level and a really strong one we've tried to break this a couple of times in the past and um, got rejected there and we we took a look at it here uh, certainly um, earlier this week um, on Thursday and um, well I excuse me on Wednesday and just didn't have the energy to push up through there and now we see a little bit of selling coming in here on Thursday and a push back down so if the bears can continue to push on here I'm going to suggest we would, we would come back down into an area like right in here um, break the low of that candle come down here to this trend now if that were to fail you can see it'd be a pretty easy trip from there right back down here into this area of price support in the chart little congestion 
right in that area. Breaking through there, then I think we come down here to the low side of that little congestion here in the chart and then right on down into here and uh, testing those 50 day moving averages here in um, the Russell. If we take a look at our VIX, well, our VIX continued to pull back here yesterday. No fear in the market. Um, despite the fact that we are seeing some serious uh, weakness in the consumers, um, we're, we continue to get these numbers that show that weakness. We continue to see manufacturing numbers that are showing a slowdown. And we'll want to be paying attention to that because um, if the consumers aren't happy, typically the market's not going to be happy for very long. So watch that closely. But right now we show no concern here in the market going into Friday. Um, as a matter of fact, I think what we're starting to show is considerable complacency. We could still drop here more to be down here to the high of December, but I think we're really getting into an area of complacency. So watch carefully um, here as we continue that push. But if we have any kind of bearish activity, we could see this spring back up pretty quickly. Let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Now our T2122 is giving us that, that hint here that we are very overbought in the short term. We lingered up here pretty much all day. And then at the end, right there at the end, we had that selling that came in and pushed us just below this bearish reversal zone and as i've said before there's no way we can go above 100 here we will never go above 100 here the way the indicator is calculated and and made and if you um uh, just pay attention we've been losing um, that energy volumes haven't been all that great. We've been losing momentum for that upside move. And this is just giving us that hint that that possibility of a pullback or a little bit of consolidation is due in the market. So if the bulls can find inspiration here today, there's every reason to believe we could continue to pop back up and linger up in this um, upside area. But I don't think there'd be a whole lot of big upside push that they could could mount at the moment unless something really changes here now if the bears were to find inspiration then we want to recognize the fact that we've opened a pretty big door here for a pullback probably one of the best circumstances that we could see right now at the moment is just see kind of a protracted resting pullback consolidation where we would be a little bit choppy and resting in an area and that would relieve the pressure here on T2122 without that full on decline coming into the market. Let's take a look at our T2108 percentage of stocks above the 40 day moving average. Now you can see here yesterday we started to see that little bit of a pullback beginning to occur here in T2108 and what what this is meaning is we've had more yesterday with T2122 more stocks declining than going up T2108 showing us that little bit of fade here but nothing terrible it's just that we're overextended um, in the market everyone that's going to be in is in and we're probably looking at the possibility of a little bit of profit taking coming in over the next several trading days we'll see but if we were to pull back in here notice we've got plenty of support levels in here to catch this it doesn't necessarily mean we collapse I would be watching this carefully right back here around this 50% area dropping below there might raise a little concern for the market if we take a look at our t2107 our t2107 also pulling back just a little bit yesterday and again just just that acknowledgement that, hey, we're probably a little bit stretched here to the upside. Certainly corporate buybacks have helped with this push to the upside and they can continue to help with the uh, to the upside. But what was really interesting yesterday is as we were trying to move up, that fade was coming in and our T2101 was showing us that breadth was declining on the day. So if you are a bull what you don't want to see is if we continue to push to the upside and our breadth continues to decline that's not a good sign it means we're about ready to come unwound a little bit meaning a little bit of pressure in a pullback in the market 
However, the other thing you don't want to see is you don't want to see if the bears take over, you don't want to see that breadth increase. Increasing breadth on the sell wave would be a concern here for the market. But if that breadth stays weak and we just kind of fade back and slide around um, in the market, that would be very healthy, I think, for the market and show some pretty good bullish support. No one wanting to sell and just kind of floating around and um, resting this big move to the upside. And that would be healthy, I think, for the market to get a nice consolidation here and a place where we can make some decisions from instead of just the all or nothing market that we've seen lately. We're either racing in and fear of missing out and chasing stocks to the upside or we're running for the door in fear. We need this market to calm down and um, clamp down on some of that wild volatility that we've been seeing lately. And let's take a look at our um, um, earnings, or excuse me, our economic calendar here for today. Now, our economic calendar pretty light on the day today, except more Fed speak. And one of the things we keep hearing from the Fed members just go on and on and on. Hey, too soon to be talking about rate cuts, even though the market continues and even though the news reports come out. Oh, we're hoping. Better chance of a rate cut. You know, everybody gets excited about that with a hint of one number, but not one Fed member is coming out with that enthusiasm of saying, no, we're a long ways away. Remember, our inflation number, even though our CPI didn't go up, continues to show that our inflation grew by 3.4%. That is not progress on inflation and as a matter of fact that is what's hurting these consumers right now it's why we're seeing credit card defaults go up why we're seeing the buy now pay later situation getting worse here where more and more people are missing those payments consumers are strapped and we'll want to watch that pretty closely here uh, because that could certainly start to translate into job losses if that continues. Um, let's take a look at other things here today. We've got e-commerce uh, retail numbers. We're going to have leading indicators here today and then a Baker Hughes rig count um, to be paying attention to. If we take a look at our earnings calendar today, well, our earnings calendar, we don't have much going on there either. Really light day here. As a matter of fact, the only notable I have for today is RBC. And RBC um, already looking uh, lower here this morning, uh, apparently disappointing uh, the market. So not so happy here um, on that today. That's our real only notable here for today. So we're probably going to be lacking for a little bit of uh, data here today, lacking for a little bit of enthusiasm, and that could be on both the bullish and bearish side. I would not be too surprised to see kind of a choppy day, I'm not trying to predict that, but a choppy day with a little bit of a bearish lean maybe in just um, that softness here in the market as we wait for something else to get uh, some inspiration. One thing you will want to make note of, one of the things that have been inspiring the market dramatically is earnings. And as you can tell, we're kind of running through those notable earnings, um, really diminishing in the numbers. And so that inspiration or that enthusiasm that comes in on earnings is really starting to fade. Let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, um, uh, click that subscribe button, um, and um, su subscribe to the channel. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that uh, favor as well as click that thumbs up button leave that brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow I got to tell you guys um, the, uh, the the kindness the 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 re responses and things that I had yesterday there was some very very um, kind responses thank you so much um, you guys um, you can't even uh, possibly know what that means to me the effort of putting these out of our day and, and seeing that people are appreciating the data 
appreciating the information. So thank you so much. Um, and remember, you don't have to write a big, long, lengthy thing on there. Just an, an emoji counts as engagement with the, with the video. And you also know that I do try to answer as many of those comments as I can. Um, so I, I do truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up for today. And remember everyone, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You need to be doing your own due diligence, be following your trading rules and your risk tolerances. You should never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas. Well, to, to get started here today, I, I want to bring up Boeing. Now Boeing, Doggone it, it, it still has some major issues going on here in, in Boeing, but you'll want to notice here a nice pop. Uh, if you remember, I mentioned this yesterday, but a nice pop here coming into that trade. Now, I can't say it's going to take off from this point, but I do like the fact that we've broken that downtrend and we're trying to hold this higher low in the chart. So don't be too surprised if that can follow through here to the upside. Watch that one pretty closely. There may be some opportunities here in Boeing and we may start seeing this come back around just a little bit. You guys remember that um, I was mentioning TSM here this week and TSM popped through and now it's resting back here again. TSM after breaking through this all time high resistance here, just pulling back and resting a little bit back to trend. And I would be looking for that next opportunity here in TSM as well, trying to set up to the upside. Let's take a look at a few others. As you guys know, I've mentioned J&J &J this week, J&J &J holding that higher low. And this is kind of reminiscent of that Boeing chart, um, a stock that's just been hated, hated, hated for a long time. And there you go we find that little higher low after breaking a downtrend and up we go. Now I wouldn't chase this at the moment. I'd look for a rest or pullback and I'd be looking for that next opportunity into that trade. Um, I'm gonna say the th same thing for stocks like Altria. Mo, there's that pattern, break a downtrend, hold a higher low, and then we see this nice run to the upside on that chart. Um, any rest or pullback now that holds these support levels in here, I would be watching for the next opportunity. Got to say the same thing for 3M. Um, again, pulling back, finding that trend, finding support, and then those bulls stepping in to push to the upside. Now, what you might be seeing is some old boring companies um, um, in, in uh, the market really starting to show um, signs. Um, we've got Campbell Soup starting to push up here. If you take a look, holding in here on this upside trend, we're holding some support and some buyers stepping up there yesterday. What I'm beginning to wonder is if we might start seeing a little bit more of a rotation into some of these old boring companies that pay dividends, a little safety play here in the market as we head into the summer. So watch that carefully. Campbell Soup looking good. Um, MDLZ trying to push through yesterday. I would mention this this week. Um, inverted head and shoulders pattern. Nice bullish candle showing up there yesterday. Trying to push through the neckline of that inverted head and shoulders coming up. If you take a look at Coke. Coke been uh, moving nicely to the upside. Pepsi looking good. Really surged yesterday to the upside, continuing to push. So keep an eye on some of these old um, boring companies. How about uh, General Mills? General Mills, big bullish candle in there yesterday. Um, keep an eye on that. If this can push on through uh, post, post another one of those dividend pairs consolidating up here and saw some bullishness coming in there yesterday. This may be, might be the place where we would find that trend and push on through this resistance. So keep an eye there on post. Other places that are looking pretty good, boy, you, you just have to continue to pay pretty close attention to what's happening in the precious metals. Um, and GLD, beautiful little upside move here in that chart. Little rest here the last couple of days as we're up here testing 
these highs in gold and those all-time highs here in gold. Um, I would keep an eye on this. If we get any kind of weakness in the dollar, I would expect the gold to push on through to the upside. And um, certainly we have to take a look at silver. Silver doing the same thing, stretching up here through some resistance highs. Now, if we look out here, this is an all-time highs in silver. We've got some work here yet to do to get to those all-time highs. But the way we're looking here in silver, it certainly is giving the impression that they may be headed that direction to take out those all-time highs. Um, beyond those, take a look at uh, copper. Copper broke through this major resistance and pulled back yesterday as copper pulled back a little bit. But if we can hold this support in here, follow this trend to the upside, just a little bit of rest in here, and I would look for copper to potentially move on higher. And I'm gonna say the same for aluminum. Um, Alcoa popped this big resistance and moved up strongly, and now it's just resting here against this next resistance level in the chart. But notice we're really not getting any activity in selling. So if this can hold and we can follow this trend at any point in time here, next day or two, um, or uh, today or into next week, we could see that push to break on through that next level of resistance in Alcoa. So watch that closely. If we take a look at stocks like um, Newmont, Newmont Mining, nice little resting pattern here in the chart after breaking through major resistance area in the chart and that possibility here that could move on higher. So quite a few of these stocks looking good um, in that sector, I would watch them closely. Now let's take a look at energy. Um, if we take a look at energy, energy is trying to come back up a little bit. And you can see um, XLE trying to slide out from underneath this downtrending channel here. We'll wanna watch that carefully in this resting pattern. If we can find any kind of bullishness to start to set up here in that chart, then there is that possibility this could start moving back to the upside. Watch that close, and there are stocks out there that, um, well, trying to show those same kind of signs, trying to push up a little bit here in those charts. Um, obviously, these have been quite bearish here recently, uh, but starting to show maybe a little bit of a higher low, a little bit of support coming in there, would be worth keep, keeping an eye on that if oil starts um, showing that push to the upside. You guys know that I had mentioned TEVA. There was my alert on TEVA. Popped on an earnings event, um, continued to push up. Now resting back here just a little bit. If I mark this as the trend, we may come back in here and find that support in that chart and then continue to move to the upside. I would keep a pretty close eye on that. And I don't think we can, can rule out the stocks in the defense, um, aerospace and defense act sector, um, RTX, resting back here to trend and support. Now it's possible we could continue to rest to this longer trend in here, but there's that beautiful pattern, very concise and deliberate price action in here avoiding all of the all of that big whipsaw price action that we're seeing in a lot of stocks right now um, watch carefully for that opportunity that could move on up um, lmt has been resting up here in this area quite a little swing in volatility on that one here yesterday but watch this resistance if we can pop that LMT maybe to the upside. Uh, General Dynamics is looking good in that area as well, trying to push up. So you'll see we've got this little trend going here and we made that pop um, yesterday, trying to push through right where we would expect it along that trend and trying to break through this resistance in General Dynamics. So keep an eye on those stocks as well. So with that, everyone, hey, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. I wanna wish you um, great profits for today. And more importantly, I wanna wish you all a fantastic weekend. Spend some time with the family, get some rest, recuperate, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. As always, I wanna wish you all the very best. Take care, everyone.